Hello, Ben Moore here from Training with BM, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you one of the new Google Docs features in which you can change the orientation of selected content or whole pages within Google Docs. Now this is probably one of the most requested features of Google Docs since its launch, and one that I think you're gonna find really useful. So let's get straight into it. So now we can change the page orientation in Google Docs. We can now have a document that consists of both portrait and landscape pages. And that's particularly useful for things like schemes of work, collaborative working with students, amongst many other things as well. But there's two different ways in which we could do that. We could either do that on a whole document basis, so uh, the whole document is portrait or landscape. You could actually do particular pages if you wanted to, or selected content. So I'm gonna show you how to do those now. So the first one is how to change the whole document orientation to landscape rather than portrait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the file button in the top left corner and go to page setup. Once we click on page setup, you'll see this box appear at the top says apply to, and I have the option of whole document or selected content. So I'm gonna select whole document in this instance, and I've got the orientation of portrait or landscape. So for now, I'm gonna change my whole document to landscape and just click okay. When I click OK, you'll see my page now changes from portrait to landscape view, and that applies throughout the whole document as we just selected there. Now, what we could also do is do this based on selected content or part of a document to be portrait and some to be landscape. So I'm just gonna undo that last action and make it all portrait again. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select all the content within this table and make the table on a landscape page. The reason I do that is because uh, tables just generally look better on a landscape page. It has a little bit more room for uh, adjusting the size of the boxes. So that's what I think will be really useful in this instance. So I'm just gonna highlight all the information within this table here. And then I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'll see the option to change page to landscape with a blue new button there as well. When I click that, what it will do is it will take all that information off of my screen and drop it into a separate landscape page. So you can now see this document consists of both portrait and landscape pages. Now, the only thing that doesn't pull through too well is the table formatting, but you can adjust that manually yourself by just dragging out the lines on the corner of your table. So I can drag that right out and I can adjust the size of the boxes to however I would like them to be. One other thing I think you may find useful is if you want to make all three of these columns or however many columns you've got in your table equal length, you can highlight all the information again within the table. You can right click, and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see it says distribute columns. And what this will do, once you click on that, is make all three columns, or however many you've selected, the exact same length. So for me, uh, this doesn't work in this instance, so I'm gonna drag this back across and make it back to a better length for me. I like to have the bulk of my information in the middle there, having the most space. What you also see is by putting this table now on a landscape page, I've ended up clearing a spare page at the bottom so it actually saves space in your document as well. So I'm just gonna backspace on that page to delete the spare content. So hopefully you're gonna find this really useful. Uh, it's definitely one of the things that I've enjoyed most about Google Docs so far. It's, it's gonna be a blessing to a lot of teachers and education staff across the world. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your input. I'm going to drop all my social media channels below in the description. Uh, make sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.